The next uh, uh, section we're going to work on is on the posterior teeth. Now, unlike the anterior teeth, uh, uh, you cannot work or you cannot do a radiograph on the posterior teeth when the film using this vertical uh, sensor holder because this is meant to be used in the in the upper anterior <coughs> and lower anterior teeth. Now, if you're going to work on the posterior teeth, you have to have the film extend uh, placed in a horizontal direction. See, this is the green one depends, uh, uh, of course, on the company, on the supplier, on the manufacturer. The uh, 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 anterior teeth, the film is placed vertically, while in the posterior teeth, the film or the sensor is placed in a horizontal direction because the teeth are generally the roots of the upper or uh, posterior and lower teeth, they are shorter in dimension. So, when you are going to work on the posterior teeth, let us work for instance on a uh, premolar. I'm using now this wingless type uh, 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 clamp. If you are working on a premolar, for instance. So, if you are working on a premolar tooth, this is the way you place uh, uh, the, the clamp. Of course, you're going to remove your frame and you're going to collect all the uh, rubber dam. You put it just aside and you press on it. Now, let us see how we will uh, 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 place our uh, sensor holder. The difference here in those sensor holders is that this is not, uh, I mean, unlike the anterior, in the anterior teeth, what we did is that if you're using the upper, you put it upwards. If you're using the lower, you just simply flip it downwards. Okay, you don't have to change anything else. This one is a bit different. This one has a, a transverse, see the uh, connecting arm between uh, the uh, ring uh, aligner and the uh, holder, uh, it has an angle, okay? So what we use here is that you can use it like a cross. You can always make sure that this arm is extending outside of the oral cavity. So if you are going to use this, this one here, okay? You cannot, uh, you cannot use it, why? Because it is extending backwards. However, you can use this on the lower right teeth, lower right teeth, because this arm is extending outwards, and you can use it on the upper left uh, uh, posterior teeth. So it's just like a, a cross. You use it on the upper right, lower left, and you can use it on the upper left and the lower right. So if you want to use this uh, sensor holder on the upper right, what you need to do is that you have to flip it this way, Turn it 180 degrees downwards, and then you can follow with the ring uh, uh, accordingly, okay? Now, you can use it for the upper anterior teeth so that this arm is extending outwards. Okay, so when you place, when you place the film, you place your film all the way uh, uh, down. If, if, this is a size, uh, if this is a size one or size zero, this is the small size. There is a number here, size one and uh, size zero, uh, size two. So you you slide the uh, 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 film according to the uh, and the number you uh, written. So this is a size one. Uh, one uh, while if you are using a bigger film, you slide it all the way down. So I'm using now a size one. So I will just make it with the with this line that indicates the size two, the, uh, the size zero. So the, uh, at the end, I will have this relationship. I don't want it to go all the way down. Okay, so you place it this way, and then the rubber dam is, uh, 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 you know, collected away. The reamer is extending from the tooth. Unlike the anterior teeth, if you see here, you cannot put this, if I'm working on a premolar, for instance, I cannot put this on the premolar simply because the reamer is extending. So what do I do? I will move, put, uh, you know, I will skip this tooth and I will go either anteriorly or preferably I will go in a posterior direction. So 
Here I'm working on the upper four. What I will do is that I will place it so that, and I will ask the patient to bite on, uh, place it on the upper five. Place it on the upper second premolar. Why? Because there is a remor extending here. So what you do is that you place it here, and when you place it, please don't pull, pull it all the way down because here, if you have, the patient is going to close, you will not catch the apex. What you do is that you put it this way and you extend it as much as you can towards the midline, as much as you can towards the midline, and then you ask your patient to close on the five. Okay, by so doing, you are now, if you can see that the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, film and the tooth are parallel. Now, if you, if you bring it too much this way, in this direction, dire uh, I mean, uh, towards the tooth, you will, excuse me, uh, you bring it this way, you will not have a parallel lines. And plus, the, this, this is a bit rocky. So what you do is that you push it all the way down towards the midline, okay? And then you ask your patient to close. If you feel this is not stable, just like we did with the upper uh, uh, anterior teeth. We utilize the, uh, the cutter roll, so I will, I will push all the way down, ask the patient to open, and then place it on the tooth next to the tooth I'm doing, and then I will just place the cutter roll here, and I will ask the patient to close. As you can see in here. Now the patient, as you can as you can notice the patient did not have to close all the way he will uh, uh, he will press on this uh, uh, cutter roll the pressing on the cutter roll actually uh, decreases the pressure stabilizes prevents slippage and uh, uh, guarantees the support of the uh, of the um, uh, sensor holder the next step is that you're going to place your uh, X-ray beam so that will be it in touch with the uh, with the uh, with the ring, and you do your exposure. Okay. When you are done, ask your patient to open, remove the um, uh, cutter roll, and then you remove the uh, the uh, sensor holder altogether. So the idea here, please, is that if I want to show the whole apex showing, don't be satisfied by placing it, uh, placing the holder uh, more to the buckle. Always try to push as much as you can towards the midline uh, to guarantee that the apex uh, will be held in place. The same is for the upper molars as well. Suppose you're, you're working on an upper seven, uh, uh, you will place, the clamp is placed over here, okay? Now, and uh, 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 the page, I, I'll be working on this because I'm still on this, on this side. So what I do, I insert it. This is outside, right? So I can use it on the upper right, and then I will insert it. If I'm working on the seven, of course, naturally, I will not, ask, I, I will not place the seven on, on, the, uh, on this area because it will interfere with my uh, remote. So I will place it on the upper six as you can see here, on the upper six. And when I place it on the upper six, I will push it all the way back, uh, uh, oh, sorry, inwards towards the midline, see? And then before I, uh, I ask the patient to close, I'll just place this cutter roll uh, here. And then you will ask your patient to close. We're done. Okay, no interference with the remo and the uh, the the, the uh, bite block. Oh, sorry, the sensor holder has gone all the way. It might even cross the midline. I never mentioned the tank for the patient. The tank will be pressed naturally by the by the holder, and then you will see direct your beam. And uh, you, you, you have guaranteed that, that there is a secure uh, bite, uh, no irritation for the patient, and 
the uh, 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 the the sensor uh, and the uh, and the film are all uh, parallel. Once you're done, remove the uh, everything outside of the oral cavity because see if you put it here very close, it will it will it will never be stable. So extend it uh, inwards.